Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Do Tea. The video today is about the six month update for the project that I have established to lose the 15 pounds that I gained during the quarantine um, in one year from April 2021 to April 2022. And I already have a video when I establish the goal and I explain it. Um, and then I have another video for the three months update. And this one is the six month update. Um, and I really wanted to make it in person because there are some big changes so my main goal is the same um, I want to lose the 15 pounds in one year but I, I establish um, six um, strategies that I have changed a little bit so I want to explain what I have changed and why I decided to use six strategies, six strategies to accomplish that goal because managing weight is not easy um, and of course every person has different opinions about that um, and I personally found that I put that weight on during the quarantine and, it's, and it was staying with me. I have never been a skinny person or a slim person, but I was able to stay in a healthy weight range for most um, of the time. Um, especially yoga helps with that. Yoga doesn't help you to lose weight. It's not a weight loss system. Yoga helps you to calm the mind, but in that process of calming the mind, as a fringe benefit, usually managing the weight is possible. So um, I will walk through the six strategies that I decided and I decided in the first video when I presented the goal, I revised them again in the three months. You can go and watch that video if you like. Um, and now a six months, that is a midpoint, is a very important one. And I really have um, noticed some barriers, if you will, um, and some unexpected successes. So I would like to explain you that. The first strategy was uh, to practice yoga. Of course, I'm a yoga teacher. I have been practicing yoga now for over a decade, 12 years, 13 years actually 12 years and a half, almost 13. And um, so of course yoga is at the center of this whole thing. Um, I practice yoga daily, some days it's a mild yoga practice, some da sometimes it's much more intense. So um, I practice yoga every day, but since um, a month and a half ago, seven weeks ago, I started an additional program uh, to help me with the physical activity a little bit more. So as you know, when you are a female, especially after certain age, losing weight is more difficult and the physical activity is one of the most important strategies that uh, you need to focus on. So in addition to practicing yoga, I am doing weight training with um, a little bit heavier weight. So the weights are over five kilograms each. Um, and also I have some um, bands, some elastic bands that I am using as a resistant. So weight training and resistant training um, as part of this program that I started seven weeks ago. And I think it was a great decision 
because it has been a great complement of practicing yoga. It helps to create a little bit more strength in the muscles and in the bones. Um, so the yoga stays the same plus the addition of weight training and resistant training. The second strategy was intermittent fasting and I explained that I wanted to do a protocol of 16 hours fasting and 8 hours eating window and I did it for four months and a half and you can watch the three months video update um, the reality is that even though I was able to implement the intermittent fasting I fasting I didn't find it extremely difficult except at night at night I was hungry and I couldn't sleep very well and I as a rule, I sleep very well. I don't have sleeping problems and I, I felt that I was losing a little bit of that. It was becoming a little bit of an unexpected sleeping problem that I have never had. I was not really noticing a lot of changes in four months and a half of intermittent fasting, 16-8 protocol. And I was having this sleeping, not problem actually, kind of interference, if you will. I didn't have any problem during the morning. I was able to skip breakfast and have my first meal at 10, 10.30 easily. That was not a problem at all. But at night, I felt that eating at six uh, my last meal was too early and at 11 p.m. or midnight I, I was really hungry so um, and there are not many things that you can uh, drink or eat that they don't break the fast. I noticed that um, for far ma four months and a half I found that that was a substantial time for noticing such a small changes. Actually, at three months, for sure, the changes were neutral. I mean, no, no gain, definitely, but no loss. And at four months and a half, a little bit, I would say. And as a rule, I know that intermittent fasting um, is a, a metabolic uh, change that requires time. But I, I found that it was really, um, labor intensive um, and with a small return of investment. So that was the main reason why I started this program seven weeks ago uh, that involves a change in food and uh, exercise. Um, and in this program, I eat six times a day. And I found that has worked very well for me. So big change, I am not doing intermittent fasting. Um, now it has been seven weeks that I have not done intermittent fasting. So I did, I did intermittent fasting 16-8 for four months and a half. And then I wanted to expedite a little bit the results and I changed, I switched, I dropped that strategy. Uh, and I am eating six times a day. I am following a protocol, it's not random eating, it's very rational and very well organized, but that is a big change. So strategy number two, intermittent fasting, gone. And now the um, schedule that I'm eating is six times a day. So number three is the food. The food has also changed. I explained I wanted to eat healthy food. I have always eaten healthy food. I didn't grow up with junk food. That was kind of a novelty. So that is not really a problem. But 
In this program that I am doing, that I started seven weeks ago, with the incorporation of the weight training with the resistance bands and eating six times a day, the food now is much more substantial um, and around protein. So it's much higher in protein. It's almost, uh, I would say, two grams of protein per kilogram of weight, uh, or at least 1.5, I would say. And in my case, because I am not vegan and I'm not vegetarian, is animal protein. And one of the main uh, food that I am eating in this program is eggs. Eggs whites and full eggs, among other things. And I am eating uh, almost none of the beans that I was eating before and they are very healthy but they are not part of this plan and also I am eating a more selected type of vegetables so I still can eat a lot of vegetables but no potatoes, no beets um, and those kind of uh, you know vegetables that are higher in starch and calories but I can eat all the greens, plenty of tomatoes, I can eat uh, pumpkin, so it's, it's perfect, it's no problem at all. But there has also been a change in the food with a trend going heavy on the protein side. Strategy number four is the bone broth. And the bone broth stays the same and even more very successful bone broth um, especially now in the in the middle of the project the bone broth has become more relevant so i drink a cup of bone broth with collagen every day but also i have incorporated uh, one glass of bone broth protein in addition to bone broth collagen, bone broth protein. I am also incorporating a, a protein powder. Originally, the indication was whey protein, but unfortunately, I am allergic to whey protein, so I cannot take it. After a week, I start having uh, itchiness all around the place, skin rashes, diarrhea, so it, it, it doesn't work for me. So what I am uh, taking is a protein pow powder of Biga. It's a vegan protein powder that I think is very easy to digest. This video is not sponsored by anybody. I bought all these uh, supplements with my own money from my own pocket. So everything that I'm saying is because these are uh, important supplements uh, in a project like this when I want to manage the weight, losing weight without losing muscle and without losing bone. That is a key um, component of this project. You don't want just to lose weight in any way. It has to be a quality loss of weight. I want to lose fat. I want to increase my muscle and I want to increase my bone density or at least keep it the same. So um, I will put the picture somewhere here for the brands that I am taking for the bone bro collagen, bone bro protein and from the vegan protein powder. Um, and I like the three of them and they have been very important. Strategy number five. It was the mudra, do you remember? The Surya mudra. The, let's see, the Surya mudra. You can look it in the video. I have a video where I explain the mudras and there is a picture and there is also a little video showing how to, uh, you know, uh, place your fingers to, to accomplish the mudra. 
Remember that the mudra is an energetic seal. Um, and I like it. I don't really know how much impact is having in this project, but I don't think it's playing against me. Um, as I explained in the video for the three months, I have to change the time that I'm holding the mudra because my fingers were hurting. So now I only do the mudra while I am doing the breathing uh, in the yoga class. At the beginning and at the end, when I have my hands on top of my knees, I have the mudra and it's very straightforward, but it's, you know, much shorter, less time than before. Um, so a little bit of a change there. And as I said, I don't think it's playing against, but I cannot really tell you if it is adding value as a, a strategy to lose weight. Um, I am just following some uh, data, if you will, uh, mentioning that maybe of some help. Um, I like mudra in general, so I would do a, a mudra namaskar in the class for sure, and I would do other mudras. So uh, Surya mudra is very appropriate for me as a yoga teacher and for my yoga practice. And since it is related with um, aid in weight loss, I am using it. And number six, and the last strategy is the metrics, how I am actually measuring the progress beside the way I feel, beside that if I am hungry or if I am not hungry, and beside all of that, um, you know, the concrete and objective uh, metrics uh, to, to see if I am losing any weight. Um, I didn't want to wait myself until the end of the goal, but in my workplace there is a health program, a wellness program, that, that, is, that is a correct uh, name, a wellness program that we can take advantage of. And we have just done what is called the biometric screening. Uh, and they weighed us and uh, get the height and other parameters. And uh, so they weighed us. <laughs> so I knew my weight. And happily, yay, I am losing some pounds and uh, some interesting pounds. But it's not very, very, very noticeable. Um, the clothes are a little bit looser here and there, not dramatically, but I do feel the difference now. And also I measure with the centimeter, with the tape, and I have lost, uh, how much? Four centimeters. I'm not sure how many inches are because I use the European system but four centimeters in my hips that is you know usually the area that i congregate the fat so that is fantastic but i think that the success could also be because of the change that i started seven weeks ago i think that the change in the food um, and the training was a good idea. And I am not saying that intermittent fasting is bad or is uh, not uh, useful, but in my case, I found it to be too slow. Perhaps at that time, it was not the right time. I was thinking that perhaps I could go back to intermittent fasting for the last three months I will see when I update it, when I, when I will do the video for the nine month update, I will look into that and I will let you know. Perhaps it could be a strategy that I can reincorporate later on. But at four months and a half, I felt a little bit stuck. It was quite a long time. It was not that easy. Um, so 
I, f I think that the change that I started seven weeks ago was a great idea and I, I feel that considering that at three months my changes were neutral, I think that I can attribute um, some of the weight loss in the scale and the measurements and the clothes to this new project. This program is only three months, is going to finish in another seven weeks and I will evaluate and I will decide if I do another three months. Uh, it's an online program, um, it's basically food and exercise only. So I didn't really find any conflict with what, what I was doing. So basically it was like a sub program in my big program. But I think it was a great, I think it was a great decision. I found it very helpful. I think that um, expedited a little bit the weight loss and the measurements started to, you know, be a little bit different. So this is what I have to say at six months of starting this project. I think that a half point of a, any project is really um, very important and we need to re-evaluate. I didn't want to just go blind for a whole year. Uh, and this is the goal that I established for myself and the goal is to lose the pound in a healthy way. So I think that this is very appropriate and actually is in concordance with the whole project overall. But as I said, um, intermittent fasting not happening now, uh, food all the beans and the high starch gone for a little while. Um, I have incorporated some supplements and I just explained before which ones, but I am also going to incorporate uh, some others and I am going to explain them in the video for the nine month update. Um, so that is what I wanted to say. Uh, in appearance, I don't really Thing that I look very different even though some people have uh, told me oh I think that you look slimmer what are you doing um, I don't really give um, people's opinions a, a lot of value in that sense I don't really care what people think about my body or my appearance but um, it's an objective measurement, if you will, you know, it's a criteria that other person have, so, has. So, yeah, I, I, I think that even though it's not extremely relevant, it's a piece of information that uh, it has happened, for instance, the last two weeks, and it didn't happen, you know, a month and a half ago, when I was already four months in the intermittent fasting, I was very diligent and not really seeing a lot of results. So, um, okay, six months update. Uh, in three months, I'm going to tell you how things are going for the nine month update. That is going to be, you know, 75% of the project. Uh, it's going to be a very important one. Uh, what is staying, what things are reconsidering, um, and all of that. Um, I hope that you are doing well. Um, I hope that the global situation that we are all in, that, that hasn't really finished, you know, we are all still uh, in this global health um, situation. I hope that you stay well, that you stay safe. And if you are interested in my weight management journey, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to make any comment about what do you think about losing weight, keeping weight, did you have any changes during the pandemic or is something that didn't affect you at all or whatever you want to say. Thank you very much for watching and namaste.